Hey, it's Something Student here, and today I'm going to showcase how to create a bouncing ball in JavaFX and with a little help from Scene And on the screen, I already have the program running where you can see this blue ball, more precisely a circle, bouncing around the screen. And every time we hit a corner, we bounce off it. And so on. So let's have a look at how it works. Inside my scene builder, I just have a very simple setup with just an anchor pane and a circle. Inside my controller, we then have again have our scene, our anchor pane. We then use a timeline, which is a built-in object in JavaFX that allow us to run some kind of event at a specified time. So in this case, we're running with a keyframe, so every 10 milliseconds, which is about 100 FPS frames per second, we will run this event handler, which does something. In this case, we also have a few variables, delta x, delta y, to define a movement at x and y. So first we're moving 2, 2, which is on the x and the y, which is to the right and down, so diagonal down. And then we change our pluses, so rather than these are positive or negative, to define if we're going so down, up, and so on. And we do this place very simply every 10th millisecond, move our circle by adding our current position plus our delta. So at first, plus two to the right, and plus two, which is down. So when we run the program, it goes to the down and right, like this. And we hit the button, bottom of our screen. So we have our button border, which is when our circle dot get layer layout Y. So on our Y axis, we are hitting our bounds dot get max Y. So our bounds is kind of like a object that allows us to keep the area of our scene in this case. So max y, which would be equal to the bottom layer. So whenever we are equal, larger than, so further down or equal to our bottom layer position, minus our circle, but get radius. So it's not our center of our circle we're looking at, but the edge of our circle. So we subtract the circle radius. So whenever the circle hit the area, in this case the button, we will check if right border is true or left border is true. No, it was button border. So if button border is true, we would change our delta y with a minus, so multiplying by minus one. So we change it to the opposite. So if it was positive, it would be negative. If it was negative, it would be positive. And in this case, it starts as positive y, which is going down. And now it becomes negative y, which means it's going up. So when we hit the button border, we change from being plus two, plus two, so two, 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 to being two, minus two, two, minus two. And then again, whenever we hit a border, we changes our delta changes. So in this way, we're able to change and then keep delta, the value, until we hit a new border and then change again. And then just very simply, our timeline is set with a cycle count to be indefinite. It means it keeps running, and then we start our timeline. So, pretty simple setup. Using a timeline to run at a specified time with an event. In this case, if we hit a border of our screen, change direction. So if you enjoyed this quick showcase of how we could do a bouncing ball in JavaFix, please leave a like and subscribe and I wish you all a wonderful day.